Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to another DIY segment. So materials that we're going to be using are some acrylic paints in black, red and white, a Sharpie with a fine point, a thin brush and a regular brush, a Q-tip and a piece of paper. At the beginning I knew I wanted something with a piano on it, but I didn't really know. I didn't have a really defined idea, so I went to my friend Goggled and I saw this really cute image that I wanted to try. So the first thing that I did is took the case away from my phone, but then we're going to go and paint the phone. You can use a primer. I'm not going to do it, I'm just going to go directly, but you know, if you want to, you can go, just go ahead and apply that first. And I'm going to give this a couple of coats until it's really, you know, pigmented that white. So since I was basing myself on this image that I saw online, I wanted to have like the kind of the exact same image. So I took a ruler and pretty much just drew a line, like one third of the whole thing with my Sharpie, the fine part. So I just could have a base onto where I should put the piano in the black part. And then I took my ruler again and placed it on the top of my case. And then I kind of marked every centimeter from that ruler and just kind of pointing, you know, marking that. I did that three times. Once I had all my little marks in there, I just went with my ruler again and just kind of gathered all the marks that I had marked before just to make as straight lines as I could make. So this part comes kind of tricky, but I'm going to slow it down for you. You're going to, or we're going to put each centimeter on top of those lines and then we're going to be marking four millimeters like on the left and four millimeters on the right, parting from that line in the middle. So you're going to be doing that in all of the places where the black thing is going, pianos. I am not really sure of the technical name of those things, the black you know, things that you play in piano. If you know, of course, let me know. So then what I did is just, you know, gathered those marks and then I ended up bringing the lines, the random lines on the middle part, just bringing them to the top. So this whole thing would be like the base for my piano. And we're just going to go and start the fan painting those black pieces and you're going to notice a random I heart music here. I was trying something else and I didn't like it. I ended up not going for it. So that's why I didn't record that part. And then my case has this kind of a circle or just this, you know, window in there. So I'm just going to really carefully paint it with my black paint and using my thin brush. And then we're going to go with the brick brush and just paint the rest of the black part. Yeah, just be real careful of not crossing the line, but if it's okay if you do, because we're going to be fixing all those mistakes later. Now, a tip that I learned from the past, somebody told me that every time I wanted to paint some, you know, edges around something, you can go and use a brush, yes, but this technique is actually worked better for me. You're just going to take your Q-tip and then, you know, dip it into some acrylic paint and then remove the excess and you're going to go and kind of drag the the paint on those edges. You can use a paint sponge, I think those are called, but when I was painting this part I did not remember that I had one. I kind of remembered that afterwards, so yay for me, but uh, you can use that or you can use a Q-tip as well. They're not going to be leaving any residue, so just you know covered all the edges. And this is what happens when you make mistakes. You can always take your one of your brushes, in this case I'm using the fine brush, and just again dipping it into some acrylic paint, the, the white one, and just kind of erasing those places where you just went too far. And this is going to act like an eraser. And then we're going to just write I Heart Music. I didn't follow any particular font, I just went towards what whatever was on my mind. But you can always search for different fonts that you like and try to write what you see. So I just took my Sharpie and I started writing that. And then I went with my white acrylic paint and my really fine brush and I just simply, you know, followed the lines that I, that I wrote before and then the heart did the outline and then filled it in. I did a couple of coats of the red one. It should have been better if I first had painted the heart in white and then let it dry and then go on top of the white with the red because the red is going to be much vibrant. Since you're working over a dark surface, 
it's kind of harder for colors to just be vibrant as they are when they are over a dark surface. So next time I do it, or you know, next time you do it, just try to have that in consideration. And then I let it dry for about overnight, and then the next day I simply went outside, grabbed some gloves, and grabbed my gloves, and just started spraying the whole thing. You can use satin as well, or just matte finish, it's up to you. So next time I paint another uh, iPhone case or case in general, I'm just going to be sharing it because I think it's so much fun and it's like kind of liberating because you kind of let your inner artist like kind of create what he wants. So definitely go for it. If you do, let me know. If you like this idea and this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, share it and subscribe for more fun stuff. Don't forget to check out my blogs for some close-ups. And if you go for this idea, don't forget to send me your creations over Twitter and Instagram. I would love to see your art. And thank you so much for watching. Talk to you in the next DIY segment. And take care. Bye, guys.